Hi, I'm Jim Cook from techbits.com. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an SAP security log extractor, which is equivalent to transaction SM20, and it's written in ABAP. So the first thing we're going to do is start the, uh, the data dictionary, and we are going to create a custom table. So transaction SE11, table name ZSM20 extract, and we'll give it a short description. Um, this table will store the, uh, the last execution date and time, so it can pick up where it last ran off, where it last finished off. So we enter the short description and give it a delivery class of L. And we'll just now go into fields and we populate the fields as per the list that's attached to this document. So the first field's program name or prog name. It's a key field and it's a, a type of BTC prog, which is a standard SAP type. Next field is last executed timestamp, and the field type is BTC variant, which is another field, standard SAP field that occurs in all systems. So we'll now go to um, enhancement categories, and we'll just set it to cannot be enhanced, so we don't get warnings when we activate it later on. Um, Okay, just saving it. This prompting me for a package. I'll save it as local. Um, going into technical settings, data class is Apple One, SARS category is zero. So it's very small records and the buffering is not allowed. Save it and activate it and we're good to go. So let's go into the ABAP editor, SE38. Create a program called ZX Tract SM20, like shown here and give it a title uh, of SM20 audit log extractor. The type is an executable program. The status is a customer production program and the application type is basis. We'll save that again as a local object for me. Now we're going to utilities, more utilities upload and then from the file that I've provided, um, set extract sm20.txt we upload the actual program source and we'll save that. Now we go in, we go to text elements and from the other file I've got, you just paste in the, the text elements. So your selection screen will have meaningful field. The paste doesn't work so nicely. It gets the, the number and name right, but you still have to, as I'm doing here, just update the field lengths from the, the text document I've given you. Um, so there's two text documents, one, well three actually, one will show you these names, another one has got the program source. Let's just save it and activate it. And we should be good to go. So let's run this program. We'll just extract it, all logs since last collection and we'll save it in slash temp. 387 logs were extracted. So let's go to the Linux host, cat slash temp. There we go. And you can see the files extracted. So let's try it again. We'll try it again immediately. And we'll this time we'll try Splunk key pair format. Execute, oh, nothing was extracted. That's because we've done, there's been nothing happening in the system since the last execution. So let's just start the system log just to do something and get an audit record and go back to our extractor and we'll try it again uh, with Splunk key pair format, pick up and this time there's only three log records because that's all that was picked up since last time. Let's have a look at what was created. The Splunk key pair fields, files end in text and there we can see it, we've got those files produced. So there you have it, quick and easy, you're ready to roll. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please follow me on Twitter to, to stay abreast of new videos and uh, check out my other work at techvids.com. Thank you.